Hey guys, uh, Dan here with uh, an episode of Dan Reviews It where there's not really going to be any reviewing. Um, I was going to bring you today my review of Season 9 of Roseanne, um, but that's not going to happen. I uh, <laughs> So Roseanne was just canceled by ABC um, because I thought, you know, I thought today would be a nice day to bring you the Season 9 review since there's no new episode of Roseanne tonight, uh, and I guess never will be. Um, Roseanne sent some disgusting, racist, uh, boy, I don't curse on this channel, but um, tweets about uh, a former aide of Obama's um, who happens to be black, and she called her some things, and then was ta sending tweets about Chelsea Clinton's husband's family and uh, all of this stuff. I, 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 I'm just, I, I'm so frustrated and annoyed, and I don't know, you know, it, it's funny, I was looking so forward to giving you my season 9 review of Roseanne, because it's such an awful season, it's one of the worst seasons of a good show ever, maybe the worst, um, but it feels like doing it now would just be even more mean-spirited than it already would have been. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible season. Um, but I'm so fired up and angry right now that, you know, I mean, <laughs> she had the, literally the number one show in the country and it is now canceled because she is a, a bigot and a horrible person, right? And, and then she tries to apologize as, oh, it's a bad joke. It's like, listen, I do, I do pretty well with separating the person from their art. I really do. Um, you know, <laughs> but, um, and I'm not saying, like, I'm never going to go walk back and watch the old episodes of Roseanne again. I'm sure I probably will. But, um, it's just, it's so disappointing that, uh, that she did this to her fans and, and the cast and crew of the show and like you know obviously look look I didn't prepare anything for this video I just I needed to get something up today because I wanted I wanted to bring you my season 9 review and obviously that's not happening um I just I can't believe that um you know I I and I I've never defended her politics what I defended was the people ripping apart the show for its politics, because the show itself was not that political, except for that first episode of the season. Um, but, you know, obviously, um, there's something to be said here. You know, like, Roseanne had the chance to make this bridge between Trump supporters and the rest of us, um, that you know, hey, look, I can be a Trump supporter and not be an effing monster and a racist bitch. And that's exactly what is happening. Um, you know, she is just, how, how, what is going on in the world? Um, you know, she, she had such a platform to to have a, a, a gap bridged between these two sides, you know? Um, and I'm not saying one person can you know, be the mouthpiece for a whole organization. You know, obviously she doesn't speak for Trump or his White House, right? But she speaks for a lot of people. This isn't even a political network. I'm, like, like literally, my channel on YouTube reviews friggin' movies and TV shows. It's like, I, I, so I don't even want to get into the politics, but it's just like, it's just such an opportunity to to have something you know, with meaning and like, look, you know, yes, I do support Trump, but I'm not a racist. I'm not this or that. And it's like, it just, as a, as a staunch Democrat, as, as a, you know, look, I've, you know, I was a Hillary supporter. Um, it, it just, it speaks to me, certainly. I'm not going to speak for anybody else in the same camp, but it speaks for me as a, you know, look, this is exactly what we're all telling people, you know, that support Trump. It's like, no, like, your actions and your words both are speaking with this. And it's like, there was just such a chance to do to do better. And uh, Roseanne obviously didn't do that. I am so disappointed that the show is not coming back. And honestly, if it does, I'm not going to watch it. I really won't. Um, 
you know, maybe Fox will bring it back like they did Last Man Standing, I don't know. Um, it's just, it's sad. Uh, that's all I have to say. There's no review here. Uh, I, I would like to review Season 9 um, when I've got a cooler head because I really want to rip it apart in the proper way. Um, in all its its glorious awfulness, um, and and give it the the you know the proper due that it deserves, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. That's just not going to happen. Um, so thank you all that have subscribed to my channel because of my Roseanne reviews. We've picked up like 50 plus subscribers in the last two months or so just because of the Roseanne reviews, and that is awesome. I hope you continue to be with me for the next chapter of the channel, whatever that's whatever that's going to be. I'm still deciding what kind of TV show to to tackle next. There's been a few different options that I've been thinking about, but obviously, I mean, the season of Roseanne was coming to an end anyway. I was done with season nine, um, watching it at least, so, like, that's, you know, that's all kind of in the past anyway. I guess I was going to review the new episodes for the upcoming season, but, um, and man, to just find this news out, you know, 10, 15 minutes before I was going to do my review. <laughs> it's like, come on. Like, why? Why does this, you know, why did, what? <sighs> it's just, it, it's so disappointing. It is so disappointing. Um, but anyway, that that's it for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.